Leo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again to let you know what is going on for the month of April 2019. Yes, indeed. I missed you guys. I surely hope you missed me, honey. I was waiting to see what's going on with you guys, honey. What's going on, Leo? Y'all been behaving yourselves, honey. So, for all my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you so much for showing me love, liking, sharing, and subscribing. I thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you so much for just, you know, believing in me and just, you know, allowing me to give you insight and just inspiration throughout the month and things like that. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. Um, if you want to book a personal private reading, you can do so by clicking that Um about tab there's a hyperlink down there that says scorpion red tarot as simply book me again it's scorpion red tarot as simply book me if this video resonates and you want to give a love offer and you can do so mystic moon got some new decks honey and i'm gonna get them so if you want to drop a dollar or two up in the goddamn a little honey pot honey go ahead because you know I, i'm just gonna be a card hoarder so i'm gonna have every freaking card known and face it, man and that's cool with me that's cool with me because i like all of these different decks give so many different stories. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to go there. So, let's get into the energy. Thank you so much, Father God, for bringing us here for the sign of Leo. You know I love my Leos. So, we trying to figure out what it be for the month of April 2019. Thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons and the prosperity and the abundance that you've showered throughout our life in 2019. I'm going to tell you, Father God, it has truly been a blessing. We have learned a lot and through all of that, it has made us so much more stronger. Father God, we are just so ready for the fight. We, we listen. We TTG. We trained on ready. We trained to go. So, Father, please give us guidance throughout the month of April. I feel like, you know, a lot of things are blossoming. And it's like truly blossoming in Leo's life. Thank you so much for all of the blessings, Father God. Please give us guidance for the sign of Leo. Thank you again, Father God. Thank you. Mm. I feel just fire long and strong for Leo. Fire long and strong for Leo. Like y'all going for, y'all can't wait for. Listen, the April. Listen, I know April might bring a lot of showers, but with them showers come broke, honey. And for some reason, I feel like Leo like to play in the rain. Like, I just, I feel, and you know what, for me, I feel like them, them April showers is the best. Because those are the times you get to stay in the house and be all buns up. Or you get to be on the computer and write your little novel. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just to do whatever's clever. What, what was two? money okay i'm gonna take these i'm gonna take these these three cards i'm gonna take these three cards okay so the general energy right here is despair it says i need your divine intercession right now oh dear great spirit lift this darkness from my soul free me from this burden open me to your highest plan may i be a peaceful vessel of your love Leo feels at a place of despair right now. Because I feel like right now they're going through some money issues. True offering. May I release the fears, illusions, and addictions that are keeping me from true offerings. May I relax into your plan. Trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me. Love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. All right. So Leo feels like there's something that's going on in their life. Um, something that they've just been holding on to that they've been trying to release and just walk away from. And they know that it's blocking them from their true, their, their true offering. Their blessed offering. And God is just like trying to lift them right now. And just Leo's like, God, use me as a vessel. Please remove these burdens and just... Just lift this despair off of me so that I can really get my true offering. And I feel like right now, they're going through something with money. They're going through something with money. They're going through some type of money or finance despair. It says, all my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is the source for all. I needn't cling to gain or the fear of loss. Every need will be met throughout offering all to, div to the divine. 
again all my finances are now in divine order love itself knows my needs and is the source for all I needn't cling to gain or fear loss every need will be met through offering all to the divine okay everything is in everything is in divine order don't despair don't be in despair your true offering is truly coming to you it is coming to you okay don't don't focus and worry about money right now everything is going to work out for you in your best in your best trust me let me see let's go here so order oracle of the unicorns I'm just being guided to go here, Leo. Please give me guidance. For Leo. For April. Please give me guidance for Leo for April. Please give me guidance for Leo for April 2019. Magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Leo. Listen. Spring. Spring. April flowers. April showers. Opens up. New blossoming abundance. There is magic all around you. You have to know your strength. You have to know just you that you're a special unicorn. Like you're one of God's special, special creatures. Like honestly, there's a magical energy surrounding you right now. Like I said, I feel like your energy is like blazing red hot right now. You know, there's a lot of good energy around you. And I feel like you were legitimately creating a new environment right now it's like pixie pixies all around you like little little fairies all around you that are just dropping little blessings and little coins little trinkets to you and i feel like you're so worried about this true abundance coming into you like you not to have to worry about these this money situation no more that you're not even seeing the the blessing and the magic and the true offering that's in front of you because you're so worried right now. You're so worried. And I want you to give this despair to God. Oh, goodness. What is this? The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. Working on your craft. Working on yourself. Despair. I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit. Lift me from this darkness of my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be peaceful. May I be a peaceful vessel for your love. So right now I feel like throughout your time of despair, work on yourself. Work on your crafting. You know, whatever it is that you do. I feel like a lot of you guys are carpenters. Like y'all like carpentry. You like to do a lot of woodwork and you like to make things like tables and chairs and but you do it in like a kind of artsy way like you make one of the kind type of crafts like I don't know it, 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 I don't know how to explain what I'm seeing but it's just like sculpting or some type of like some type of sculpting or drawing or tattoo work or something like that. Like y'all do something, Leo. And I feel like right now in this moment of despair, just like give your soul, be the vessel. Let your creativity, you know, be your vessel right now. Work on yourself, work on your crafting. And that's going to open up the true magic of the universe to you. And that's going to bring you your true offer because you're going to be so focused on Working on something that makes you feel good, you know what I'm saying? It that's going to be the one that's that's going to be what's going to bring you the true offering and the money, and it's going to lift you out of that, and you're not even going to see it. And all of a sudden, all of these answers is going to come to you, and it's going to be like magic. All right, the Queen of Cups, being emotionally grounded, giving, nurturing, you know, loving, 
sweet, sugar and spice. Truly, you know. That Queen of Cups offering, you're giving your offering love to your environment, to your universe. Not only are you working on your crafts, you're working on yourself. You care about your reputation and the type of, you know, product that you're putting out. Like, you're really, really, like, I think that you, before you a rush and go just give some of your artwork or something to somebody, it's like, no, because I'm about to charge you some good-ass money for this shit. So, you know what I'm saying? It might take me a little bit of work. You know what I'm saying? It might take me about like maybe two months, two and a half months to work on this. But trust me, when I'm done, it's a work of art. And you're going to understand that it's well worth the money. And it's well worth the wait. Trust me. I put my heart and my soul into this. You know? When I put my heart into anything that I do, like I'm giving you the best that I got. Giving you the best that I got. Mm, baby. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know what the fuck you be saying. But you be giving people the best that they got. Like right now, I need mean, that's your true offering. Like that's gonna bring that magic to the universe. And I feel like these little pixie fairies have been whispering, like, honey, you got that magic in you. Focus on your craft and focus on yourself. Focus on what you good at. That's gonna bring you your true offering. You think it's at work and looking for this, you know. No, listen. But something is coming on. You definitely getting some new messages or some new beginnings. And whatever this new thing it is that you're working on. This new craft. This new thing that you're working on. I feel like it makes you so emotionally secure. So emotionally happy. I feel like it brings you emotional happiness. And for a lot of Leo um, men. I feel like. You've been working on your crafting and things like that. And I feel like there's a woman that comes along, a queen of cups, you know, possibly a female cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. And I feel like you, you're getting messages of new beginning with this person. And you feel like this is your true offering that lifts you from this despair because you got someone that is focused on you. Like you see how she is focused on you, focusing on you. You see what I'm saying? She's looking at you building yourself. And she's offering her cup that way. And I feel like that's why she loves you. Like, that's legitimately why she loves you. And, like, there's going to be an offer, like, a new, like, there's going to be an offer of a new beginning. A brand new beginning. And I could really see that your world is changing with that chameleon. Like, you are adapting you know, you were literally adapting. And they go to the page of swords. They go to the page of swords. So not only are you adapting, but I feel like you're communicating back to this person with clarity and assurance. And assurance, you know, that all the burdens that I've done, that I've carried in the past, I'm dropping them. Because I've done my research and I know that, that that's not going to get me anywhere. You know what I'm saying? I've done my research and I know that's not going to get me anywhere. So, you know, I'm not going to be this little hamster running around on a damn wheel. I, I'm hopping off. I'm not carrying no burdens or whatever. I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. And thank you for sending me these messages. But there's a queen of wands. There's a queen of wands, most definitely, in your energy. There's a female, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I'm picking up a Sagittarius, though. There's a female Sagittarius in your life. And I feel like for some reason, this woman gives you strife for some reason. She's very beautiful, but I feel like you, deep down inside of her, she has the ability to be mean. You have, this person has the ability to be mean. You got this water sign woman that I feel like she even just loves to watch you work. Like, she loves watching you work. I can see you, like, in a tattoo parlor doing whatever. And she just like to hang around in a tattoo parlor while you work or whatever. Helping you out, just doing whatever. And then you got this other woman, this queen of wands. And I feel like she's beautiful. But you just, and she's a fucking bitch. Like, I really do. Like, right now, I don't feel like she's in this bitchy way. But I just feel like. 
regardless if she's good or bad and, and she's in a good or bad mood like she still has this bitchiness about her and i feel like you are definitely dropping you don't want to deal with her no more you don't want to deal with her. you don't want to deal with her no more and it's like i'm not going to go run and hide from you i'm not going to be the permanent i'm not going to run and hide from you i'm just going to not deal with you no more at all <laughs> i'm just not going to deal with you no more at all you know I'm going to take care of my children and everything like that. I'm still going to be the emperor. I'm going to take care of my children and my responsibilities. But I'm not going to deal with you at all. I'm not dealing with you. Mm -mm. I'm dropping that burden. I'm not dealing with this person. Mm -mm. And I feel like that's why y'all are in despair. Because you got this queen of wands right here that you got to deal with. And y'all don't feel like you really want to work on things with her anymore. Like you, you, You're you, not willing to put the time in to deal with that. You're not, you, 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 you just... I'm stuttering. You don't want to deal with that. You most definitely, positively, absolutely fucking do not want to deal with that at all. Not the fuck at all. Mm -mm. Father, please give me some guidance and love for Leo. Okay, go ahead. Pop, pop, pop off. You don't feel like this person deserve your love anymore. This Sagittarius person, you don't feel like this person, this Sagittarius, I'm sorry, Leo... Or um, Aries, woman, you don't feel like she deserves your love anymore. And you're, you, you're working hard to release your ex. You don't... I mean, it don't even feel like... Excuse me. You don't even want to... You're not even, like, working hard to release your ex. Because I feel like you've already released this person. Uh, but you feel like there's some codependency there. There's codependency there. And, yeah, there's just no more love to be expressed there. You don't feel like... Yeah. I feel like maybe there's like someone that's having to pay child support, spousal support or something like that. And there's like some type of financial codependency there. But you've released this person. It's already broke up. There's no love to be expressed there. You don't feel like this person deserves shit from you. Like dead ass. Like <laughs> dead ass. And, like, and I feel like maybe this ex person is in despair. You know? But you don't feel like they deserve fucking shit from you. You don't feel like they deserve shit. You're codependent on me still. You know, and I'll take care of you. Like I said, I'm going to take care of my responsibility. This is a Leo man, but um, please get the fuck out of my face. Like, stop trying to express your love to me, talking about shit from the past. I don't give a fuck about this shit. Leave me the fuck alone. Leave me the fuck alone. Shit. I'm going somewhere. <laughs> I feel like Leo is like, you sitting there talking about shit from the past, and I got to sit there and give you all my fucking money with this alimony shit, and I really don't feel like you deserve all this fucking money. Like, cause you can live... Like, come on now. Like, you don't need all of that money to live and take care. Like, for real, for real, they give me my kids. I'll take care of my motherfucking kids myself. For real, for real. Fuck all that shit, because you got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's really been having Leo, these Leo men in, like, a, a place of despair. And I feel like for the Leo women, that y'all been in a place of despair about some money. Because I feel like there's somebody that, you know, is, is, is codependent on you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like there's somebody that's codependent on you. And, and I feel like there's somebody that's codependent on you financially, properly. And you're and you're working on yourself. You're working on regaining your savings back and just working on your crap. I feel like in your work sector like you've been really really working on trying to get a promotion or trying to excel and you feel very loving and you've been adjusting in this chameleon with this you know this page of wands here you've been changing to attract new messages and new beginning you know what i'm saying and i feel like you're loving your environment you're putting so much love into your environment that is attracting it to you and that's you're changing with your environment. I really see that. And you're mentally sure and you're clear about what you want. You're not carrying a burden, you know? And yeah, sometimes you got to be a bitch sometimes. Yeah, you do got to be a bitch sometimes, you know? But at the same time, you're not about to go run and hide. You're not about to juggle a situation that's not benefiting you. And you're not about to go run and hide, you know? You want someone that's going to be a leader, a protector, and provider. And you don't feel like anyone from your past deserves love. You know, they just want to be codependent and you know, you listen, you learn your lesson with that bullshit. You learned your lesson with that bullshit. That's why you put motherfuckers on pause. All right. 
the timing was not right for this situation. It just wasn't. You know what I'm saying? You do think back and you do have little moments of nostalgia and things like that. But you just be having to work on some deeper shit deep within you. Because it's like, why am I even thinking about this person anymore? <laughs> like, I don't see the signs that I need to see. And I know that this is not a good situation for me at all. You know, I need to focus on my true offering. This situation truly brings me despair and it makes me think about my money. Like, I just feel like whatever this situation is, I feel like this was like a divorce or a breakup. Like, y'all separated uh, some people that lived with each other or something like that. And this separation, you know, it was like the timing wasn't right, but the timing was right. You see what I'm saying? Shit just had to happen. It had to go down that way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah. I'm just having to work through the darkness right now. I'm having to work through the darkness and I'm having to follow the signs right now. I'm like, my science is telling me to work on me. <laughs> to work on me like shit. You know? And for my Leo man, it's just like, why give my energy to this bitch? One minute she sugar and spice and everything nice. And next thing you know, this bitch trying to cut my fucking head off. Like, I don't know what the fuck going on with this stupid ass bitch. Like, for real. Like, I just like, no. I'm not. Uh-uh. I'd rather be with somebody why give my energy to somebody like that when I got someone who just enjoy watching me grow? That's nurturing me. That's taking care of me. You know what I'm saying? Emotionally and making sure that I'm good. I'm okay. No, like I'm good. I don't see the signs. You know what I'm saying? I do think back to this old situation, but fuck that. What's that? That love in reverse. Um, not focus on love. Teaching, throat chakra, hopeless and hopeless. Alright, I feel like right now, Leo is not focused on love because they're still being taught. You see what I'm saying? They're still being taught lessons that is just like very hard for them to digest right now. Okay? They're not focused, they can't focus on love right now. You know, because it's just been a very, very deep struggle to learn certain things. It really, really has. And I feel like almost to an extent, it's just like it's hard to be taught a lesson of love in front of the public. Because I do feel like to some extent, some of y'all went through this breakup publicly. Y'all went through this love breakup situation in front of the whole fucking world. Like you were taught this lesson in front of the whole fucking world. You know, in front of an audience. And you just like, man, I just like, <laughs> oh, it's like, I can't even, I can't even really talk to you for real to express how I feel. Cause it's just like, I feel like Leo has been trying to, they're still trying to work through how to speak and try to formulate the words on, they're still doing that shadow work. You know what I'm saying? They still get triggered from time to time. Because, you know, they really love this person. But just right now, it's not the divine timing. It's not the divine timing. They're still going through lessons. And they learned their lesson. And right now, the most important thing that they're learning is how to use their throat chakra and speak up on certain things. And right now, they just feel helpless and hopeless. Like I said, they're, they're, they're in a place of despair. Because they feel like throughout everything that they went through. And they have separated themselves. And they have been working on themselves. But I, I feel like they don't know how to work and pull out them. They don't know how to pull off magic right now. Like right now, they feel like they got to pull off magic. They got to get something done right now in regards to their work, in regards to their money. And they're in despair because they, they're ready for this offering to come in right now. And this don't have nothing to do with love. Like this truly don't have nothing to do with love. This has to do with fucking Leo. This has to do with Leo. And it's like they 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 emotionally in your heart, they feel hopeless. And it's just like, I ain't trying to learn nothing about no love right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just trying to learn how to speak my truth and not feel this helpless and this hopelessness right now about my financial situation, right? That's the thing that I gotta focus on right now. Like I feel like they feel they do feel hopeless and hopeless in love, but right now. Like, it's about them trying to manifest, you know. It's about them taking authority over their life and trying to manifest. And like I said, trying to pull off magic right now. And like, you know, let me focus on this, bringing in my true offering and bringing in financial stability 
and all of that stuff to me and then we can talk about love you know what i'm saying let me pull off this magic right now in my financial world right now justice yeah you feel like something something happened that was unjustified you feel like there was there's an imbalance in the way the cards was dealt oh fuck what the feel like y'all definitely feel like there was an injustice in regards to and that's the two of cups there was an injustice in regards to a divorce this is the two of cups in reverse that just fell across the floor there was an injustice in regards to a divorce either leo feels like there was an injustice Regards to a divorce where they ended up having to shell out a whole bunch of money that left them in the financial despair or someone that's, you know, a Leo woman in the divorce settlement or something like that. Like they ended up getting pennies and now they're in financial despair and they're trying to figure out, well, what the fuck did I deserve? It's like, how am I going to deal with things financially? Like, where is my true blessings going to come to me in this situation? And they just can't focus on love right now. They can't focus on love right now. I feel like they're trying to worry about expressing how they feel because they feel just so helpless right now. This is the Ace of Coins. But however, it's, you know, you feel unjust. You feel like there wasn't justice in the situation in regards to this breakup. However, the Ace of Coins, there is new beginnings. There's going to be a financial new beginning for you. So, like, your true offering is coming to you. Like, so don't be in despair, especially not about no money. You understand what I'm saying? There's going to be competition. There's going to be fights. There is going to be battles in your life that, of course, that you do not want to have to deal with and have to face. But you're going to have to face it. That's how change. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's how you become. You learn how to adapt. You got to become more daring, you know, got to be more quick, you know, adaptable, you know, you got to be more quick and learn how to react quickly to these changes that come in your life that you don't see coming. You understand there are going to be things that's going to come in your life that you don't see coming. All right. But you got to learn how to. Okay. Okay. You have to learn how to communicate. You have to learn how to communicate and handle a lot of action. You know, you got to learn how to handle a lot of action. That's honestly what I'm getting. You feel like some fucked up shit happened. Some fucked up shit happened in regards to this love. It's going to be new beginnings. There's going to be financial blessings and prosperity coming to you regardless but you're gonna go through a fight of your life you gotta learn how to deal with it. you gotta learn how to deal with competitions you gotta learn how to take a phase sometimes you gotta learn how to take a phase sometimes life going to throw you punches life is going to throw you punches like that's the only thing i can take life is going to throw you punches you gotta learn how to take a motherfucker fade get up and kick a bitch in they motherfucker balls and uppercut that motherfucker grab they fucking money take their shoes off them take their goddamn <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Bitch, you got to learn how to fight fire with fire. Like, I mean, it's like you got to learn how to act quick. You got to learn how to act quick. When shit hits you from left field and you don't know and you ain't see this shit coming, you got to learn how to act quick. That's the only thing I could tell you, okay? That's the only thing I could tell you because I believe this shit was in the reverse. It was. This is the four of coins. You have to be aware. You understand what I'm saying? You have to be aware and you can't be holding on the shit that's going to hold you back. You got to learn how to drop dead weight and let go of shit that, you know, ain't a value to you. And you got to keep it moving. You feel what I'm saying? You got to act fast and you got to learn how to let shit go and keep shit moving. You understand? Don't hold on to things that's going to give you misfortune. This is the five of coins. You understand? All of that hard ache, the pain the struggle the drama all of that shit is in the past you understand what i'm saying because you learn how to because you learn how to turn the other cheek even though you feel like it was some injustice happened to you i don't really see that you putting up a fight 
You just working on yourself and you you're focusing on the change. You know, it's like you know, as long as I focus on myself, a lot of blessings is gonna come to me. And they are coming to you. You learn how to motherfucker fight the fight. You learn how to motherfucker deal with unexpected changes. You learn how to act fast. Okay? You learn how to stop giving yourself to situations that didn't value you. And because of that, all of the blessings that you're offering is coming to you. In the sense of money. In the sense of money. The wheel of fortune is turning your favor, bitch. And that's how I'm leaving this motherfucker. I love y'all, Leo. I love you. Stop worrying about this shit. The more you worrying about this blessings coming to you and the unfortunate, the more you focusing on the unfortunate things going on in your life, the reward is going to give you more of that. Focus on your blessings. Focus on your blessings. Your prosperity is coming. I love you. If this resonated, y'all go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button, okay? If you want to book a personal private reading, go ahead and hit that about tab. Hit that hyperlink. Scorpion Red Tarot at Simply Book Me. You got me? If this video resonated, and if you want to book a reading, go ahead and do so. And um, if you want to give a love donation, you can do so as well. I love you guys. Peace.